De Amen. Sanbonan Basaloani, Jumelam Basaloan. I greet you all in the name that is blessed, the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. It's a joy for me to stand before you once again, beloved, after a very long time. Of course, some of you will be meeting God, uh, take it by force on Thursdays, but most of you. We have not seen each other for a very, very long time. But I'm sure you've been seeing me because I've been on uh, Facebook and also on, on Zoom and, uh, and YouTube. But na kekale kesale boom. Amen. Nya chabula ngempela uguti sibonene. And the Sabonana Manja. Otherwise, Kabe Rutuileka Kofiti or Babang Mafitile Kayon. But because God is a gracious God, he, he didn't allow it to happen. He wanted us once again to come together and worship the Lord. We really miss this. Amen. We miss this. And I've been praying for you. I've been praying that the Lord may keep you. And I'm so glad to see most of you, Lily Ding. I'm sure Baba Anki Khonavasa adjust. I tell my Baba Nimfula, Yaba Shaya Iker number zero. Yeah. But anyway, Rita adjust, Rita Twaila, Rita Bea Haperete. You know, it's not, it's not being easy. But uh, uh, Mudima has been with us. Uh, as for me as my, and my house, we've been serving the Lord. We've been having church in our homes. Every uh, 11 o'clock, uh, we, we, will, we will listen to the word. And then from there, we will sing and have church until uh, 12, 12 o'clock. And we've been doing that since and there. Uh, and they made sure her on the the rapper, 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 said the rapper. So for my little you are getting better. And the kid on a level me on some quality by the makeup, or by the kisabak. Her on two are getting it's good. So it has been awesome, and uh, I'm sure little una you've been enjoying yourself uh, out there in your homes, and uh, I'm so glad, Basalwani, see. Eh, kia tepa hore, eh, mre na ubile li luna, babamba luna li bible infected, but mudimu to through, and you are able to overcome. And we thank God for bani mudimu, we pona khadite hore, he is a great, gracious God, and that he loves us, and he cares for us. Amen. Beloved, I want us to look into the word of the Lord. And uh, looking into the word of the Lord, I have a subject which I took it from the very uh, word as we are reading. Um, and my subject is pray about everything. Can you say pray about everything? Pray about, tell another one and say, pray about everything. Another one, tell, tell him, pray about everything. Wonderful, wonderful. Now, the scripture there, it says, it's the Apostle Paul speaking to the church of the Philippi, encouraging them. He says, don't worry about anything other translation says be anxious for nothing or don't be 
anxious for nothing. God don't want us to worry. And to be anxious to worry about things that we are faced. Things we don't know how to deal about, how to do about. You know, the last time we met, uh, I think we met for about two weeks when we were doing the lockdown on the issue of uh, meeting as uh, 50 people, I mean 100 people, and we thought we'll adjust. And then all of a sudden, we were locked down. And coronavirus, Bazalwan, Er Shapile, without planning, Er Shapile, without expectation, Er Shapile, a shock to all of us, all the churches in the world. We did not plan, we didn't anticipate this. And it just happened and hit us so strong. I think it took us some time to, to come back. But one thing that which I can say is that when uh, we were locked down, the only thing that one could do was to go back to the Lord and say, Lord, you know everything. You knew even before that this will happen. And uh, can you please just uh, stop? Stop! Don't don't play. I'll 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 I'll, I'll tell you when to. Play. Yes. Okay. Now, you know, I, I, I was praying and asking the Lord to say, Mudimu, when are you easy? You knew this thing before it happened. And obviously, you are a sovereign Lord. Nothing happened without you allowing it to happen. Therefore, to us, the way show us why you wanted this to happen. Show us. And you know, I've grown more than ever before. I looked down than all the other years. Because this uh, lockdown, it has made us to have time with God. You wouldn't say you don't have time. You have time to pray. To read the word, you have time to uh, pray, you have time to do introspection, you have time to adjust, you have time to look into your life and say, gashe, gashe, impilo yami, iagupi, And I must say, God has spoken to me, the Lord has dealt with me throughout the seven months. And I, I, I must say, that I am not the same, and I believe you are not the same as well. It's either a COVID-19, it, it's either it made you worse, or it made you better. And so, it depends. If you are in the worst situation, you have to decide to come back. If you are in a better situation, you have to be much more better with God. Amen. Because I was asking the Lord, Lord, what you want, what, what is this? What you want us to do? And it's so clear. It's so clear in my heart. And I believe with time, we'll all understand why COVID-19. Now, obviously, COVID-19, it is not something that came with good things. COVID-19, it's a pandemic. It's something that brings suffering. It's something that came with bad things. It's something that came with inconveniences. It's something that came uh, with, with sorrow and sadness. A lot of our uh, people, they are gone. We lost a lot of people. Now, in the Baptist Convention of South Africa, the, the pastors that I know, uh, I've, I've been told for eight pastors passed on. You know, actually in South Africa, the first pastor who died in South Africa, it was the Baptist pastor 
Wako um, uh, Bloomfontein Free State, you know, that church Ekileng Yaba infected and the Muruti sang in and then passed on. And then from there, it was many, many people that we knew that were actually infected and uh, suffered around this. And by the way, Basalwan, COVID-19, even though we are on lockdown uh, level uh, one, it, it, I so fail. It's not finished. And uh, don't ever uh, uh, be deceived by people saying because it's level one, then it means uh, COVID-19, it's finished. In our family, you know, in our family, uh, 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 we just got, uh, uh, you know, uh, the family members being infected just uh, Friday. They are in quarantine as you speak. So this thing is real and it's still continuing. And also it's getting uh, higher and higher. They're saying because people are negligent, it's getting even much more uh, higher. Now, as, as Basalwane, let us not be ignorant and let's not take this thing light because seriously, this thing, it's, it's, it's a terrible thing. It's affecting people and a lot of people are also li uh, 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 losing their lives. So, Bero, now as a, as a church, we are a family. Let's not be negligent and then re ring and turn a light, and then uh, eventually a versatile recosa more problems and infection and so on. We are the light of the world. Let us show other people by example as well. So I, I will really want to say, let's continue to put our mask and let's continue to, you know, do social distancing and also wash our hands and all the time, even in our homes, wherever, and conscientize our children and also uh, take care of our elderly people. And if we do that, definitely, I believe, uh, we, we will definitely conquer this. One thing that which I can say is that let's not also be controlled by fear. We know that God is on our side, and we know that uh, uh, COVID-19 a lot of people have recovered from that because of the grace of God. Therefore, we can uh, be able to overcome. Amen. Amen, Bazalwan. Now, the Bible says we, we, sh we should not be worried. We should not be anxious. It's the word of the Lord. And uh, before we close, I, 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 I emphasize on this. Uh, and I was teaching on this very, very uh, strongly. Now, to be anxious is to allow negative thoughts to put you down. It's to allow, to allow the, the thoughts to take control of your mind. It's to allow the, the thoughts that are, are contrary to the word of God put you down. To, to, to worry or to be anxious is to, is to allow the situation or whatever that you are going through that it may take over everything that has to do with your life. Now the Bible says, as a church, we should not be worried. The Bible says, don't worry about anything. Meaning, even COVID-19, it should not make us to worry. Yes, the situation that we are faced, it is very, very terrible. It's a very terrible uh, uh, a situation, and also, are very, very difficult. People are losing their jobs, you know, People are being retrenched. A lot of people, uh, they are not working now. There's no income in their, in, their, in, their, in their homes. There's no food. You know, a lot of people are unemployed as we speak. 
even our church people. And also a lot of people are sick, also infected by, 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 by COVID-19. And lack of finances, you know, things are very exp more expensive now. And uh, life is no longer the same like before. And also we have heard that the gender violence is also uh, getting much more higher in the homes and is escalating. And also we have heard, Hore, there is a possibility, yeah, Hore, the, the, the COVID-19 can return and can become even more fatal than before. So meaning things can become even much more uh, worse than before. You know, lockdown has been very, very difficult. I mean, yeah, basically all of us were in prison in our own uh, house arrest. I mean, you can't do that. 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 Uh, the things that it's telling Kore, I'm going to, and so on. How I'm going to pay my school, the school fees of my children. What about food? What, what's going to happen in the future? Now, this, this scripture is so direct and so clear. See what it's saying. It says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Instead, pray about everything, meaning... Replace worry uh, prayers. So in other words, because now we are faced with uh, challenges of life so badly so, it means this is the time of prayer than ever before. And you know, let me tell you something, and I, I'm saying this with humility, my family will tell you. I, 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 I have grown in prayer more than ever before since the lockdown came because I've, I, I look into the word and I've also seen that the, the only way to conquer the, the circumstances and the situation that we are living today, it's prayer. The Bible says, it, it put it very uh, simple and clear. It says, don't worry about everything. Meaning, whatever alien horror we are going through, what we need to do, we need to pray. So as an individual, you need to pray more than before. Because situation, it's not getting better. And it doesn't mean, Hore, we are saying, don't worry about everything. Uh, things will be just okay like that. No, it means you need now to report to God. See what the Bible is saying. Tell God what you need. Meaning at this time, Tell God what you need, and it says, and thank him for all he, he has done. Meaning you also need to uh, have the, 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 the habit of, of thanking God in advance as you tell God about the problems that you are, we are faced at all the time. Now, when you do that, it helps you to relieve stress because now, you are taking all the burdens, you are taking all the situations, the problems, Wadinka Udisa Komodi. Like the Apostle Peter said, cast your burden unto Jesus, for he cares for, for us. Meaning, this is a time that everything that happens, you need to tell God about it. When it says pray for everything, it means... I mean everything, meaning tell God about your children, about the food, about the groceries, tell God about your telephone, tell God about electricity, tell God about everything, wherever, when you go, tell God, like your things to do, let it be the prayer points. Father, today I'll be going to the mall, Lord, as I go to the mall, Lord, the virus is there, be with me, as I go 
to uh, so such a such a place, going to meet with so and good meaning. Don't be ignorant with the circumstances of everything. The Bible says, do what? Pray about everything. Then there is a promise. The Bible says, then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your heart and mind as you live in Christ. How are we going to live and enjoy our lives during these difficult times that we are faced? These are really, really difficult times. And don't ever, ever deceive yourself and say, you know, I it is on rule like any other people. People normally say I is on rule. It's on ruler, but not now. Not going to rule manje. And the forty, actually, into is on rule lula. You on rule na vanye. You on rule le zini zinto. You on rule with a lot of things. And I want to say this so that you face it. So that you can understand that. It of it a liba to baba ratang. It of it a ikanafita luena ikanafita linna. But here is the key that God is helping us even as we read this. Is that as we living during uh, COVID-19, as we are inhaling it all the time, we are doing because you see you must also understand the issue of virus Bazalwan. The virus the virus in different formats. And there is no cure yeah yeah virus. Even the flu. I wanna virus I wanna cure yeah 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 virus yeah flu. Now the issue is this this one is more fatal than others same thing but if you are strong you might be inhaling it or you are coughing, you are not even aware. Can take you on a youth where there are a lot of us by long for COVID. It's it can only happen as it is or maybe you are you are you are you are, are having symptoms and so forth. But there are people who will not even experience symptoms at all. The point is this one. As you are eating with COVID. As we are sleeping with COVID, as we are working with COVID, we need to say, Father, as I inhale and exhale COVID, you know you are sovereign, you are Lord. Show me your way. Give me wisdom. Teach me to live life in a different way than ever before. Pastor one, this COVID-19 as a church, it has to do something with us. We have to, to, to ask ourselves, what is Jesus Christ saying to us? Because we, here we are, we are having masks in the house of the Lord. We are having masks. We are having distance and so forth. Can we just say, ah, it's something fella, Emrena, asa we next? No. He's talking, Murena, Ubuale, Naluena. COVID. Amen. It must teach us two things. Be humble. Meaning, if you don't say humble before, this must force us to be humble. Tell someone I say, be humble. Yes. COVID-19, love it. It means it says, God is saying to us, we need to be humble. By being humble, it means we need to be obedient and listen to what he's saying so that we can please him. Maybe we were too busy before the COVID-19 thing. And uh, we, we didn't have much time of prayer and also of reading the word and even of doing evangelism and so on. Now, if we are not going to be Humble now, COVID 19. Tell me 
What is the reason Yahweh the Lord must keep you still, even if you don't want to listen? Meaning, if you don't change, what is the, what, what, what is the reason for God to keep you? These people who are dying of COVID, are they, they are, are they more sinners than us? No. We are not, we are, we are, we are, we are not better than them. They are the same as us and all of us. But what, is the, what will be the reason God to keep you in this COVID? Or it can be a time, yeah, or no, let's not waste our time. Or that's one of the are are monk at a mic. I know who one morena. Well, uta 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 ya ko morena in the kana ko a kaho a shorty and then high low or no pila modi being uta boya di di heling just like any other person. Ibu a kaba saluan, baba nga kaba saluan balong kore patwa di heling because. Nse bai pile la fela, basa loa nse nse bai ketan, nse bai ratan, 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 Now, lifu kile, 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 itila, ka each and every one of us. And now, kitko dula mo, kinse kibu amo kere, eh, you shall prosper, you shall prosper, no. Trabur ki ye basa loa. I'm telling you, this is a trouble. And then now as the servant of the Lord, I, I'm praying and I'm hearing what God is saying. Nakabu nakai tukisa, even more. For the, fir for the first time after a very a long time, you know, before I got married, I used to pray uh, uh, very, for a long time. I keep playing inside my calling good country. I, I, I had a breakthrough one time before I got married. I prayed from 6 o'clock in the morning until 6 o'clock in the evening, non-stop. 12 hour, hours non-stop. But let me tell you, I used to have those times when I was not married. And uh, I, 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 you know, I, I was devoted to the Lord completely in that way. But after... I would pray two hours, three hours, and so on. But as alone, got COVID-19, I made a breakthrough where I, I was able to pray for nine hours non-stop. And uh, when I did that, I felt, I said, thank you, Lord, for COVID. Thank you, Lord, for COVID. Thank you, Lord, for COVID. Because COVID, it has made me to flow into that realms again. Do you hear what I'm saying, Bazalwan? Now, when you hear and you become obedient and you become humble, as the Bible says, if my people that are called by my name they humble themselves, then the Lord says, I'll hear from heaven and I will heal the land. You might find her, the reason why Mudimu Adumeleti COVID is for his church, not even for the world. So that Kereke Ibue Iklemotileng Molimote, because some, although most of us, are, you are not uh, giving tithes. Even when you work, you know, well, yeah, you have to do, but uh, it's my mind anyway. God will understand. Uh, but about evangelism, um, I'm not an evangelist. Mudimu understand. Uh, people don't do. People that don't pray. People that don't study the word. That Christians. It's all about us. Christianity. Yaru na Christianity, it's all about how how are we? It's all about God prospering us, God making us to be rich, God making us to enjoy our lives. It's not about God who has a need to make sure that the world turns to himself because Jesus Christ needs to come back. The particular demo who pilo Mar, we have forgotten all that. It's all about us. Even church, it's all about convenient about us. It's all about us. And for me, I feel this is saying God wants all of us to come back to him. He wants us to pray 
as never before. He wants us to report to him and tell him everything that is happening around us. And as a church, as we, we, be, we, pray, we pray more and we come closer to God more than ever before, then I believe that things will just happen, you know. I mean, when we, you know, in our times, I think there were few pandemics that came in. And you never know, Jorge. He, he fell at the guy because there was no antenna. As I don't have a little thing or any other thing. Like, for example, cholera. Cholera is not a Maria Nyamala, and Azanga Hobale, a Kyoya Korela. Even now, Korela is Santan E. I saw, I saw Billy Kyo. But E. E. Lea is Ang, Yabela subsider, and life continue like that. It's the same thing. The COVID 19 is a figure la, if I'm a flu. Mar I Kyoya Yung Agabikon. Flu, I'm not Kyo. So even COVID, COVID, how fell a ronai tor tuar how fell a to a point when we got a lot of tor. Hey, why is COVID? Hey, na man, why is COVID? You know, na na into my fa my van. Oh my God! Hey, and then from there, life goes on. When the grace of God comes upon each and every one of us, but we need to know how to do more rona. I do my letting COVID. The Father, our God, our Lord Jesus Christ, we do my letting. So, as I toyang fell, fell a reshebe, retute, reuto hormudimu, uring a COVID. Fell a COVID, no ma, I lure no to allow me a dicherry say forty five. It means Juanong Juanga po Juang ulata COVID. So mini no munto o on asum zaloan mele akate ama relationship because it means yena otwara ki COVID every week. Baso sune kamo asune kamo asune kamo COVID ita nente tang imlate. I lo no lim zaloan e ilo horo onale upila. Seriously. Now, I know Hore, you say, Aumutate Muruti, Risandre, Ribula Fela, Ribula Fela. Ribula, I see, Ribula Fela, I see, how Sarafale Chansinana, the breaking yan. No. It has so again. So that. Rehone together, remove it together. When we talk about prayers, together we should pray. Ho 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 sukuluha a ho chokor ustaela. Ho chencha mi sebeti ya ho a ho chokor e ustaela. Impa wezang waituki seza luki sabelo. Amen, Mazalan. Say hallelujah. Can you say hallelujah? Amen. Let's bow heads and pray. While we are bowing our heads and closing our eyes, maybe uteng mo, ukala utakir king, during this time of COVID, uboen or no man, you know what? I need to change my. You have done something that is very, very good. Today you have visited in the church and you said, I want to solve my life because I can see things are changing. If you have come, you have done a good thing and actually God has loved you because you have taken a good decision. I want to pray with you that you may be saved, that you may accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and that if you only thing and you want me to pray for you for the life here how it be a different one 
Just raise up your hand wherever you are. Just raise up your hand. but just raise it high if you want me to pray for you wherever you are. Hallelujah. Can I ask if please stand up with your feet wherever you are so that I can see you and pray for you. God bless you. I see one, one person there. Is there any other person? You are saying, you know what? Pray for me. I've come here. I need God. I need God to do something with my life. Please stand up with your feet wherever you are. And uh, we are going to pray for you that Jesus Christ may come into you. Hallelujah. Can I ask if, if we may let wherever you are, please just come here in the front. Just come, come, come wherever you are and come here in the front. Let me pray for you here. Amen. Hallelujah. Just come. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. How little thing, Hitler? Because this is a. That's the reason why we are here. It's to rectify our lives with God. It's to make ourselves to be clean with Limudimu. And then we know, Hore, as we leave, the peace of God will be with us. The peace, the Bible says, that, that surpasses all understanding. Meaning, it's a peace that people will not understand. Because we can, they can see what Opila differently. You know it all as well. Hallelujah. We thank God for, for, for you. Kitoku Pahore, please, you pray with me this prayer, then I'm going to pray uh, for you after. Can you say, Heavenly Father, we thank you for your love, for sending Jesus to die on the cross and was raised from the dead. And today, seated on the throne as Lord. Lord Jesus, come into my heart and be my Lord and my Savior. I thank you for your goodness in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I thank you for these that have committed themselves and received Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. I pray in this time that you take control over them. Let your Holy Spirit fill them, Father. And let them live a wonderful life, a new life for oh God. For you said when anyone is in crisis, a new creature, we pray that, Father, you take control and move over their lives. I pray for your grace upon them. We thank God for you that you have given your life to God. Now you are children of God. So, um, to Alilona, uh, to show you from here what you need to do as uh, you have chosen this new life, then from there, you know what to do. Um, going to talk to you. Just follow. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Ah, oh, you can do better than that, Basalwa. Hallelujah. Usatani Unamang. People will be more saved than before. Hallelujah. We will see more people coming to Jesus than ever before. Hallelujah. Because this it's a great time. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you, Barcelona.